What's up? This is Katas BSB, and we're gonna make mac and cheese today. And well, you guys are you know too lazy to uh, read the instructions in the back, so I'm gonna do it for you. So this is gonna be a quick video just to show you how to make frickin' mac and cheese. I hope you enjoy it. First, you get a pan like this. Second, you put six cups of water, or you can use a uh, you know, just a measuring cup, or you can just pour cold water in it. That's good. See? Right there. Second, you open up your mac and cheese. We're not going to do anything with it yet. Take the cheese out. It's right there. And the mac and cheese is in. Second, oh shit. Put it on here, and you light it up. There we go. And you put it on high. So now, I'm not going to let you watch it, but what you got to do is you're going to let it heat, and you're going to let it boil. So, boiling, you know what it means. Yeah. Uh, bu bubbles come up the top, pretty much. So here we go. That's what it looks like right now. All right. And next, what we're going to do is, we are going to take the mac and cheese, and we're going to put it in there at, uh, after it boils, until then. Alright guys, after about, say about four, or five minutes of, you know, letting it go on the high, you're going to take the mac and cheese, and put it all in, and you can throw the box away. Now, the second thing you must do is get a spoon like this. Turn around. And make sure none of it sticks to the bottom. Because if it's sticky, it's a sticky mess. I don't want a sticky mess. <laughs> Alright, now that you started around a little bit, you need to watch it unless it does so it doesn't boil over. So if it does boil over or whatever. Make sure you turn it down a little bit to like medium or low, and then start it up again. So you're going to turn the kitchen timer to 7 to 10 minutes, whichever one, or until it, they turn tender. But I'm going to do 7 minutes, and I'll show you a nifty trick to find out, you know, if it's tender or not after 7 minutes. So we're going to let that go for a little bit, for 7 minutes, and just keep stirring it around. After about four to five minutes, it's been sitting there. I don't know how long you guys are going to put it in. It just depends on, you know, your mac and cheese. I hope you're stirring it up because I don't want it to get stick to the bottom. That's the worst part. So I have no butter, but yet I have this butter right here. So use any type of butter that you have and use uh, Gallagher's milk. That one's the best. That's going to get out. You're going to get that out and you're going to keep stirring and stirring and stirring get your plate, uh, get your drink, whatever ready. Alright guys, this is the last and final part. You're going to get a strainer or a drainer, whatever you want to call it. You're going to turn it off. It's been cooking for about seven minutes, seven and a half. You're going to drain it all. Make sure everything's out of the pan. And then you're just going to pour it back. Alright, now you're going to put it on here. Now, you're going to take the milk. If you want a lot and a lot of cheese, then pour a lot. That's what I'm going to do. Pour it a lot. Now take your butter and pour some in. You need a fourth of a cup of butter and a fourth of a cup of milk. If you don't have any milk, use water. It may not taste the same, but it's still good. Then you're going to take your cheese, open it up. Make sure you pour every last bit of it. All right. Then you're going to put all this back to the fridge. I'm going to put this back in its original spot. 
There we go. Now we're going to take the spoon and we're going to mix it up. What I do is, so the butter and stuff melts faster, you're going to turn the oven on to high and you're going to stir it while it's on. It does a lot better and it's a lot quicker. Instead of sitting here for about 10 minutes, you sit here for about 3. And make sure you stir it up real nice. Now I'm going to go so I can stir this up and I'll show you the final result. 